guys, so I just wanted to show you some exercises that you can utilize to gain um, a little bit of mobility in your wrists when you're doing a lot of heavy work on your wrists and arms and forearms. So first one, come into a squat, <clears throat> hands under your knees, up nice and tall, belly button into spine, ribs connected to your hips, shoulders down, squeeze nice and strong and with your fists around 20 times, keeping a nice balance. If you can't keep your heels flat, then come up a little bit. You can by putting something underneath your heels to help you. Once you've done that around 20 times, open and close, open and close, open and close. Do this around about 10 to 20 times, depending on you. And then from there, keep your hands open. They won't be fully open because it won't be the natural seat. And open fully and close. Open fully about 10 to 20 times. You should probably feel a burning in your forearms at this stage. And then slowly coming out of it. Now, <clears throat> coming down, grabbing your wrist, rotating one way. And then rotating the other way. Should feel really good. Squeezing into a ball. From here, grabbing over your hands and pulling down. Okay? And you probably end up with your hands towards your knuckles. And you should feel a nice stretch along here. Rotating your hand up, pulling down again. You can hold between 30 seconds to a minute and then lifting your hand and pulling back holding again for the same amount of time you will do both sides and then your thumb bringing it doesn't have to connect okay I have a little bit more flexibility but bringing it down to stretch out okay if you hold it here, that's also okay. So just holding for the stretch. Bringing your hands down here and coming down and up and down and up and down and up and turning your wrists around, coming down and up. Really straightening those arms and you do about 10 repetitions of each. Okay, the more you do, the more benefit you're going to get. And then bringing your hands flat here, lifting up and down. If you want to make it a little more intense, come on all fours, up and down. And if you, if you have the strength and ability, come into your plank and lift up and down up and down slowly coming down turning your hands backwards so they'll be in that position and leaning back here your hands can come up like this and you can bend your elbows for more intensity so from the side here coming back leaning back if you want further and bending if you want or just staying here And these exercises should really help you to help you with your handstands and your flexibility because we also need to be able to be flexible, not just strong when we come into arm, arm balances so or we get a lot of shoulder injuries. And one last one for your shoulders. It's great to do after every handstand. Tuck yourself in and then sitting here. So some of you will stay here in this position. And some of you will be able to bring your elbows in, squeezing in, okay? Some of you will be able to even join your elbows, but those super flexible soles. And just holding here. You'll feel an awesome stretch. Don't be too intense with it. Lean off if it's hurting. We don't want pain. We want stretch, okay? You can even do a little bit of flossing by pulsing like this to get a little bit of movement through your shoulders. And rolling your shoulders back and forwards. 
So I hope this helps. Doing this every day will really help with opening yourself up and your body. Also, it will help so you don't get tendonitis in your joints, in your arms, in your wrists, in your elbows. And take the pressure off your shoulders because if it's really strong and it's pulling because it doesn't have flexibility that can cause and lead to shoulder injuries. Tendonitis often when shoulders are tight like the spinatus muscle it can pull down into the elbow and cause tendonitis which is kind of a feeling of the tennis elbow where you have pain you might even not be able to put any pressure when you bend down in a push-up and also your wrists as well so you don't feel that pain. I wish you a great day. Namaste.